there's been a huge resurgence of interest in diffusion bonding at TWI. Indeed, it's invested in a rather unusual machine to do just that on longitudinal section, as Alec Gunner explains. We've been diffusion bonding here at TWI for the last 41 years now. In the early days, there was obviously a lot of interest about what this technique might be able to deliver. And for a long time, it was a solution looking for a problem. However, the recent developments coincide with increased advances in fields such as aerospace. And now this is a technique which is being seriously considered because it has the potential to deliver a particularly good joint. It's a very simple process and the equipment is really not a lot more than a hot box with a press running through it. It works on the principle that if you heat components up to the point where the atoms on the surface have enough energy to start jumping across the gap, then they will bond together. So you would take two components with a very good surface and you'd push them together and heat them up and wait you can form a bond which is metallurgically perfect. If you took a section through that bond and polished it, then if you've got the conditions right, you won't be able to see where the bond line is. And if you then did tensile testing, you would expect the failure to occur in the parent rather than the joint. The new machine is a bit different. Most machines work with a vertical press. This machine has been built with side ports so that we can put extension tubes on and swing it round horizontally and that way we're not really limited as to how long a component we bond. So in theory we could put longer and longer side pieces on and make longer and longer components. So things like tubes or rods or bars. It's a slow process compared with arc welding. You're very unlikely to be able to complete a diffusion bond in less than an hour but it does allow you certain unique advantages. So for example because you're joining components in a plane Effectively, you can make a structure which you would want to machine out of a solid block but simply couldn't get machining tools into. We're finding that there's interest for heat exchangers, there's interest for various aerospace components. Aircraft brakes have been diffusion bonded for a long time now, they're looking into other areas, parts of turbines. There's also other interests in terms of long components which can't be manufactured in the lengths needed, and this allows the closest thing possible to the perfect joint and therefore invisible so it's effectively like making a longer component.